Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today episode 4.15 of the video series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. This episode 4.15 is entitled The Tempter. I'm going to read to you a well-known story of the temptation of Christ in the desert, in which Satan is called the tempter. This is from Matthew 4, King James Version, Public Domain, verses 1 to 11, and it goes like this. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain, and sheweth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them, and saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and, behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Here is the commentary. Through suggestion to our gut brains, Satan turns us away from God. Satan can tempt any person by offering them worldly power. It might be power over others, as in the case of nation aggrandizing or corporation aggrandizing aggressive acts. It might be ego engorgement. It might be riches, far more riches than we can actually use. It might be sexual advantage. It might be physical robustness or long life. Satan offers that which increases the basic obfuscations of soul light, anger, greed, lust, pride, and attachment or possessiveness. That is to say, he offers the lower triangle considerations that appeal to the gut brain. The final prospect, I feel, for folks duped into satanic bargains looks to be not that pleasant. I have an image for you entitled 
Satan, the tempter, approaches Jesus with a stone. It's a painting by Simon Benning during the 16th century, and I found it in English Wikipedia in the public domain. In the blue robe, that's Jesus. And in the red robe with the very strange-looking bird-like feet, that's Satan. And there, Satan is tempting Christ with a rock. You know, deals with the devil are one of the things that can make our life on earth very unpleasant. And I've done a tiny anthology on deals with the devil in my website, Awakening with Planet Earth which is https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com You can go there and search for the title Tiny Anthologies colon Deals with the Devil. That's an anthology I compiled and published on 7 February 2021. And I think you'll find many interesting ideas there about deals that sometimes people mistakenly make with the devil. They may be tricked into it and then uh, they rue the day afterwards. They wonder what, what could have possibly happened until finally the soul steps in and says, look, this was, this was a deal that was made through trickery with the devil and it's up to you to appeal to God to get you out of this trap, this karmic trap. All right, dear ones, that's all for now. May God bless you and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.